Hi folks, it's Chef Kevin. Tonight I'm making oven roasted Cornish ham. This is a nice comfort food meal and you're going to enjoy it. Let's take a closer look. Okay, let's take a look at the ingredients I have here. First of all, I have a Purdue whole Cornish hen. This was a little over two pounds, which is the average weight of a Cornish hen. I really like Cornish hens. It makes a very nice presentation and has a different taste than a chicken. I have some Klondike Petite Potatoes here. Green Giant brand. I have some assorted pearl onions. I really like these. They're very colorful, as you can see and they're bite size. Makes a very nice presentation. Garlic, who doesn't like garlic? One of the most common herbs in just about any cuisine. And I have some poultry mix. Fresh herbs. There's sage in here, rosemary, thyme. Gonna be a very nice tasty meal. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prep the pearl onions. I have to take the skin off these. I'll show you how that's done. Okay folks, so this is what's going on. I'm going to blanch these pearl onions in this pot of boiling water for about less than a minute. This is the easy way to remove the skins. Otherwise, it would be so time consuming to take the skins off like a normal onion. Okay, 30 seconds. I'm sorry, 60 seconds. I'm now going to put this put the onions in the strainer over the sink and then run cold water over the onions, this way I can handle them. And it'll, it'll stop the cooking process as well. I'm going to take a knife and cut the top of the onion off. And then just squeeze it at the bottom. and cut the root off. So there you have beautiful little pearl onion. This one's being a little bit more difficult. Go. Okay, I'm going to finish these off and start prepping the Cornish hen. I'm going to take a knife and cut the top of the onion off and then just squeeze it at the bottom and cut the root off. So there you have beautiful little pearl onion. This one's being a little bit more difficult.
go. Okay, I'm going to finish these off and start prepping the Cornish hen. Now here's a little tip. You can actually buy these white pearl onions frozen and they're already de-skinned so that'll save some time. Now here's a little tip. You can actually buy these white pearl onions frozen and they're already de-skinned so that'll save some time. This is my beautiful Cornish hen here. I just rinsed it under cold water inside and outside. Got it right down the middle. Gonna cut that bone out, the back out, I should say. Okay, I'm going to take some paper towels and dry them down. So these have been cleaned, dried, there was a little residual blood on the inside of one of them and one of them also looked like it had a liver still attached to the inside. So that's why you have to inspect these birds before you cook them. Okay, I'm not going to go crazy with the spices. I'll get some coarse sea salt here. I'm going to use an ample amount. Get under the legs, get under the wings. A lot of the salt will fall off during the cooking process, so it won't be a mouthful of salt. I have some coarse black pepper here. I like to use coarse black pepper when I'm cooking a bird like this. Okay, I'm going to flip it over, do the other side. I have an oven proof pan here. This is an enameled cast iron pan. Like I said, it's oven proof so the whole pan can go into the oven. It's going to be finished in the oven. A little olive oil. Presentation side up. That's the side you're going to see. What I want to do is I want to start the cooking process. I want to cook the bottom of the bird and then I'm going to put the vegetables in and then finish the top in the oven. Don't you love that crackling sound? Okay, I'm getting ready to put this in the oven. Uh, 350, 45 minutes, I'll, I'll keep my eye on it. Maybe I'll have to add a little bit more liquid. In fact, I'm going to add a little bit more stock because it looks like a lot of it already evaporated. All right, uh, it's going to be a nice meal. Right now, here in New York City, it's like 50 degrees and it's raining like crazy. So I'm going to stay in here tonight. This is going to be my meal and I'm going to watch one of my favorite movies. Winchester 73, 1950 with Jimmy Stewart, a classic among classics. Okay, I just took this out of the oven after 40 minutes at 350. And it looks really good. We take a potato out.
potatoes are nice and cooked. They're firm. They're not soggy at all. We taste uh, onion. Those onions are so sweet and so delicious, it's unbelievable. Now there's a certain amount of liquid in the pan and that is going to make an outrageous sauce, an outrageous gravy I should say. This is the liquid that was <clears throat> left in the bottom of the, the pot. I strained it out so there's no, no solids in here. There is a good amount of flavor in that though, I'll tell you that right now. I'm going to bring it up to a boil, add a little butter, add a little flour. I'm going to make a nice little sauce, sorry, a nice little gravy for this. Going to add a little chicken stock. It's about a tea tablespoon of butter. Add an equal amount of flour. I'm going to bring this to a boil and cook it for about five, six minutes just to get the flour flavor out of that. And this will thicken it, up, thicken it up. And we'll have a nice little gravy. Okay, here's your meal, folks. This is Roasted Cornish hen served with mini potatoes and mini onions and I also have some peas with sage here that I made earlier this week and I'll put that up on the end of the video. So it looks pretty delightful. Let's just cut into it, take a look. Okay, it's definitely cooked through. Now, I really like the white meat more than anything, so I'm just going to go ahead and have a taste of that. Wow. That is wonderful. A little more gravy. I hate to brag, but this is really, really good. And one of the things I really like about it is the fact that this garlic The roasted garlic is just so sweet.
Hmm. Okay, folks, I gotta run. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you like my videos, give me a thumbs up, perhaps even subscribe. So, enjoy life. See you later.